Okay, this is a demonstration on how to enable secure LDAP on a Windows 2012 server. This particular server I have already upgraded or promoted to be a domain controller. Once that's done, the steps to enable LDAPs, LDAPs would be to go to add roles and features and choose Active Directory Certificate Services and go ahead and let that install. It'll take a few minutes. Ensure that certification authority is checked here. I do like to go ahead and restart automatically if it needs to and then click install. This will take a few minutes. And now that we see the installation has succeeded, but configuration is required. Once we close this, we'll see a uh, notification up here, and that will be that configuration link. On this screen, you can just click Next. And again, we want this to be a certification authority then choose Next and Enterprise, root CA. Go ahead and create a new private key. I like to leave the defaults. Leave the defaults there. I usually crank this up to 99 years. That way, if it's a production server and it's still in production, uh, I won't be around to be the one that has to redo it. Leave these defaults and click configure. This too will take a few minutes. It's done. I can click close you can use a tool called LDP to find out if it's successful. I'll show you that it's going to fail. I'll connect to local host on 636, which is the secure LDAP port, and select SSL. And it fails. This is because I need to do a reboot in order for this machine to pick up its, uh, its own certificate. So I'll redo, reboot that now. Log in. And we will do the same test with the LDP utility. And when you receive a message like this, you know that you have secure LDAP configured.